As she races through the air Baby Bloxburg, a special witch Come and read your magic spell We love your fun and laughter And the stories that you tell Here she comes Baby Bloxburg Flying through the air Baby Bloxburg Say it everyone Baby Bloxburg We'll go with you everywhere <laughs> Hi there, cuties! Are you hungry? Eeny, meeny, morning sun, let's have breakfast for everyone! Whiz, whiz! <laughs> Enjoy your breakfast! I managed to conjure up a delicious breakfast for us, too. <sighs> So, what do you think? Not huh? bad. Looks good. In any case, you haven't got time for a big breakfast today. It's 10 to 8. I'm not going to school today. What? What did you say? Are you sick? No, we're going to have a student strike. The building's falling down, so we're going to protest. Falling down? You mean it needs to be fixed up? Uh-huh. Mm. And who is we, hmm? Marita, Johnny, and me. We just want to make a little point. Bebe. You know you can't just prove a point by missing school without asking your parents' permission first. But the mayor is spending all that money building a new town hall. And our poor school is falling to pieces. And I have a point to make as well. <laughs> Get on your broom and fly to school now. No excuses. You better hurry now, BB. When I grow up, I'm going to do things differently. Duly noted, but you have to grow up first. forced me to go to school. Mine too. They said school children have no right to strike. Don't even ask me what happened at my house. And they're laying the foundation stone for the new town hall today. That's not cool. Our school's not safe. Even the bell looks like it's gonna fall on someone. I could use magic to hold it to the wall. Not worth it. If we're not allowed to strike, we'll just have to protest another way. We could always write a letter to the mayor. That's a great idea. All the students and teachers can sign it. We just need Mrs. Miller Meanimac to go along with it. Uh huh. Uh, apparently, these three students have to be asked to grace us with their presence. But Mrs. Miller Meanimac, we're just having a student council meeting. Yeah. The bell also applies to the student council. Yes, ma'am. Huh? <laughs> and <laughs> Bullseye! Here's an application form. Rejected. Not good but enough. Mr. Mayor, sir, you don't even know what it... File it under T, like the others. Really? Well, why T? Because give it to me, like so. Aha. And then... <laughs> Trash! <laughs> Keep going. Here's a list of repairs needed at the old folks' home. It's urgent. That's outrageous! They know that the town doesn't have any money! File it under S! What? S, like scrap paper. We can always write on the back of it, okay? The crystal chandelier for your new office? It came in a little over budget. Now, now, stop, Hickler! Enough of that nonsense! Money isn't an issue if it's being used for our new town hall. I know how much you dislike math, children, but it's important and required, so let's get down to work, shall we? Oh! Marita, it's drafty. Will you close the window, please? It is closed, Mrs. Miller Meanie Mac. The window pane is broken. And the frame is cracked. Really? Well, I guess it can't be helped then. Our school is very old. Thank you, Oliver. Now then, today's lesson will focus on fractions. Fractions in a fractured school. Uh. <laughs> Bibi Bloxburg, please keep your comments to yourself. But look, it's true! That's enough! Uh. <laughs> oh, no! Jonathan! 
then what's the matter? Can't you sit still? I'm sorry. It's my chair, Mrs. Miller Meanie Mac. It's been broken for quite a while now. Well, if it's broken, find yourself another place to sit. All right, class. Now please uh... concentrate on the lesson. Mrs. Huh? Miller Meanie Mac. Yes, Marita? The student council would like to propose a petition to send to the mayor. That's our plan. Everything in the school seems to be broken. And totally rotten. It's no secret that everything here needs repair. So we're going to petition for a new school. Please join our protest, Mrs. Miller Meanie Mac. Yeah! Quiet! Enough of this! Now, back to the lesson. First we have... Oh, the board! The board. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Silence! Oh, oh, oh. You didn't get hurt, did you? No, thank you. I've reconsidered your proposal, and I've decided to lend you my full support. Yeah! Yeah! Well done, children. Here's the petition and the list of signatures for you. Make sure you give them to the mayor in person and tell him what needs to be done. Good luck. And the rest of you can take a break, including you, B.B. Blocksburg. What? But I'm a member of the student council, too. I'm very sorry, but we can't afford to have the mayor see you. You may frighten him off with your magic. Maybe he'll actually do something. That's enough, young lady. Hmm. Hmm. I'd like to lay a foundation stone every day if I could. Ha! Ah, how do I look, Pickler? Uh, marvelous? <laughs> You're absolutely right, Pickler. A new town hall calls for a brand new suit. Hmm? Mr. Mayor, sir? What do you two want? We want to... Shouldn't you both be in school? But, Mr. Mayor, this is for school. We're bringing you our petition. Ah, I've got no time for that now. Give it to my secretary uh, and then please leave. This uh, is important. You probably should have asked for an appointment. We tried, but we couldn't get one. Yeah, because of the ceremony. Of course. So why don't you two just get lost? Pickler, huh? under T. Yes, Mr. Mayor, sir. Here. So, what does T stand for? Uh, well, actually, it's, uh... B.B. <laughs> oh, oh. oh. Blocksburg, how dare you come crashing through my window Sorry like... about that. I didn't take the curve right. Hmm. Use magic to fix it at once. There's a draft. We've got one in the school, too. First, you have to read our petition. Uh, Not until you fix the window. Okay, then. Eeny, meeny, my black hen, make the window whole again. Wait, wait! Thank you. That's all I wanted. Now, out you go. And step on it, kids. How rude! Uh, Pickler! I'll add under T for trash. Yes, sir. Why didn't you put a spell on him? It's probably just as well. You shouldn't have come through the window like that. Yeah, I know. Sorry. Hmm. <sighs> it's still unfair, though. Yeah. What, what now? now? Here comes Carla Caramba. Why, hello, my charming little kitties. I heard there was no school this afternoon, so why the long faces? The mayor is just going to let our school fall to pieces. But he's building a brand new town hall. He didn't even bother reading our petition. Don't you worry. Auntie Carla will help. I don't think a newspaper article will help much. I've got something even better than a newspaper article. This week, I'm standing in for Glenn Glare. Isn't he that famous TV reporter? <gasps> wow, that's <laughs> great. Come on, kids. We'll do a live report right now, okay? Hmm? This cannot go on. Therefore, we're asking you, the viewing public, to support the student council petition for a new school. This is Carla Caramba reporting live for Newtown Television. <laughs> I'd like to extend a special <laughs> greeting to our mayor, who is, without a doubt, probably very angry at the moment. I'd also like to say oh. hi to my dear colleague, Glenn Glare. Completely he outrageous. The story of his career. Pickler, really turn off cool that television this school. and bring Miss Caramba to my chambers right away. <laughs> Quiet! The TV cameras have gone, children. We can finally concentrate on your lessons. A double period of mathematics. Aww. Aww. Math. Hello, my dear Americans. Your 
Your Majesty only needs to summon me once, and here I am. What can I do for you? Your segment on the news was... Sensational, I know. No, it wasn't. But my silly Mayorkins, you must realize that building a new modern school is a far more urgent priority than your luxurious and over-budgeted town hall. Wait, uh, did you say over-budgeted? That's right. It's a load of megalomaniacal nonsense. Hmm, Miss Caramba, everything I do here makes perfect sense. Pickler, bring the baker here. Huh? This way, please. At your service. Ta-da. Well, then. How do you like that, Ms. Karumba? My goodness, what is that? It looks like every dentist's nightmare. No offense, of course, Mr. Sweetmeats. Huh? <laughs> That's what he asked for. Over budget? This is an example of exactly how thrifty I am. This completely delicious scale model of our new town hall is to be given to the children's home after the stone laying ceremony. I'm sure the kitties would be just as happy with some sticky sweets. Now tell me, what do you have here? A new school. It's my little daughter's idea. Pretty, isn't it? It's delightful. She thought a round school would be kind of nice. No corners. So you see, that's what the people want, Mayorkins. A new school. Forget your overpriced palace. I'll do no such thing, Ms. Caramba. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious! A town hall made entirely of cake and yummy pink icing! Mmm! Ah, yes. This one's easier to swallow than the real one. You may as well save your jokes, Ms. Caramba. The foundation stone will be laid today. My town hall will be built! And besides, we've already got the new traffic lights. Huh? What's that? Uh, I, I refuse to answer uh, any more questions. Mmm! Mmm! Why is it so loud? What is that loud rocket? It's completely dreadful. Jonathan, please close the window. Yes, Mrs. Huh? Miller, Meanie Mac. Look at that. There's so much traffic down there. The road is full of great big trucks. What did you say? Trucks. Trucks and cars everywhere. How on earth can this be happening? I cannot teach like this. I must go speak with the principal. This really is the last straw. I hope the foundation stone falls on his foot. <laughs> Shall I tell him you said that? Better not, Picklerkins. So tell me, what was that I overheard his honor say about a new traffic light system? <sighs> Extensive detours is what the mayor is calling it. So it's nice and quiet in the new town hall. Children, the traffic's been rerouted to pass by the school from now on. Oh, BB Blocksburg, I really don't like doing this, but I'm going to have to ask you to do something. Do you mean I'm really allowed to cast some magic? Yes, you may. Will we be allowed to protest as well? Oh! Of course you can. We have to let the mayor know exactly how angry we are. Leave it to me. Eeny, meeny, feather bed. All the traffic lights turn red. Quit this. Oh, sweet, sweet silence. Stop. Sit down. Hmm. What's the matter? I thought we were loud. Bibi, can you conjure up some placards with our demands on them? No problem. What about file the mayor under F for failure? How's that? We demand a brand new school. <laughs> All yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you want me to put on yours? Huh. Schools, not town halls. Yeah, yeah. what right. she said. Right on. Eeny, meeny, protest fun. Make placards for everyone. Whiz, whiz. <laughs> 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 I'm going to be late for the ceremony. Why aren't we moving, Pickler? The light's 
red, sir! Who ordered this infuriating traffic light system anyway? I beg your pardon, but you did, Mr. Mayor. Really? Impossible. It's been sabotaged. We're going to be late. Hello. We seem to keep running into each other today, don't we, Mayorkins? My, aren't you going to be late for your ceremony? <laughs> this silly traffic light won't turn green. Red's such a pretty color. It's annoying, though, isn't it? It's as if it's under a spell. You may very well be right there, Mayorkins. Of course. Baby Bloxburg, just wait. I'll show that little witch who's boss. I can give you a lift to the school if you'd like. Climb on the back. I really don't believe it. Watch out for your new suit, yeah. Mr. Mayor, sir. Uh, please don't drive too fast. Just be sure you hold on to me. And remember, don't be scared of roaming reporters. <laughs> 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 I can just see the front page headline now. Mayor and school collapse together. <laughs> That'll be truly sensational. Ah, wrong. It should read that Phoebe Bloxburg is responsible for the traffic jam. Yeah, green lights in exchange for a brand new school. Now, children, three, four. We, we want, want a new, new school. school. Our, Our school, school is, is falling, falling down. down. It's, it's a scandal for, for the, the town. town. We <gasps> want a new oh. school. Our <laughs> school is falling down. It's a scandal. This is amazing. For the town. I really we hope you're getting all of this. School. Just keep Our filming. Our school is falling down. <laughs> it's a scandal. For hey, the town. listen. All you need to do is clean up and get an exterminator to deal with the creepy <laughs> crawlies, and everything will be fine. So let that be an end to this circus. Circus? Mr. Mayor, all this traffic in front of the school, that's the real circus. No normal person can teach under these conditions, let alone try to learn something. Either way, everything here is too old, too broken down, and too, uh... Falling apart. Yes, yes, falling apart. Nonsense. You're imagining it. Imagining it? You need to go see for yourself. Me? That's right. You have to experience what we put up with. <laughs> now, why would I want to go and do that? I'm not a child anymore. Really? Well, I can change that. Eeny, meeny, breaks and skids, turn the grown-ups into kids. Eeny, meeny, double feature, now turn me into the teacher. <laughs> <laughs> This is really strange, but it's absolutely incredible. Baby looks like a real teacher. Silence! What's all this noise? Let's have some discipline into your classroom. No more dawdling. Bruno, get a move on. Everything's so dirty. And there are creepy spiders everywhere. Watch out! <laughs> Whoa! Hey! That bell nearly hit me! That's it! I'm not going to this silly school anymore! The bell rings for everyone! March yourself inside! <laughs> I wonder what he's going to teach We're us. going to go over some math for this lesson, children. Oh. Bruno, please sit oh. still! Uh -oh. <laughs> uh, uh, it's not me! My chair keeps wobbling! Really? Well, come to the front of the class instead! Oh. <laughs> Stop that! This isn't a circus! It wasn't my fault! Surely you can do mathematics, can't you? Not really. Couldn't we just write a short fairy tale instead? Huh? With sensational stories? No, right now we're in the middle of a mathematics lesson. All right then, Bruno. Let's see how you do. If the new town hall costs approximately $25,400,000 to build and a brand new school costs $18,200,000, how much will the mayor save if he builds a new school instead of a new town hall? Uh, uh, well? Um, he'll save a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that is not an answer. So, how much, Bruno? Pick me, pick me. Matilda, we all know that you're good at mathematics. Bruno, the answer, please. Oh, 
All that noise outside is making my head hurt. That still doesn't answer my question. You have to try harder. How much can the mayor save? Uh, uh, Mrs. Boxberg! Uh, Unimpressive. Uh, please take your seat, Bruno. Mm -hmm. Matilda, please tell us. The mayor can save exactly $7,200,000. Wow! Huh? That's a lot. <laughs> we should probably tell the mayor right away. That won't make a difference. <laughs> That's true. He's not that bright. He's sensationally shallow. Hmm. The only thing that'll help is a protest. Yeah. Why don't we march to the stone laying ceremony? Yeah. After all, you did promise us, didn't you? Fine. Off you go. Yeah. Awesome. Excellent. Hey, Bibi, that worked out well. That was really fantastic work, Bibi. The mayor's really going to get it now, isn't he? How dare you two be so disrespectful to me. As far as you're concerned, in the future, you will address me as Mrs. Bloxburg. Uh, have we gone crazy or is it everybody else? Certainly not us. Wow, something has really gone wrong. We'd better get Bibi's mom here. <laughs> What am I thinking? Pouring vinegar in? Oh, well, never mind. And now a bit of pepper. Why am I having so much trouble concentrating? That's nutmeg, not pepper. Oh, who's this? Yes? Oh, hello, Marita. What's going on? One, two, three. One, two, three. Test, test. Check, Mike. Mike, check. Mr. Mayor, sir, where can you be? Please don't let me down. <laughs> Say no to a town hall. Say yes to a new school. Say no to a town hall. Say yes to a new school. Say no to a town hall. Say yes to a new school. Say no to a town hall. Say yes to a new school. Say no to a town hall. Say yes to a new school. Send the mayor and his supporters. Straight to jail. Send the mayor and his supporters straight to jail. Send the mayor and his supporters straight to jail. Send the mayor and his supporters straight to jail. Send the mayor and his supporters. Baby darling, what is the matter with you? I'm sorry. Do I know you? Oh, baby, my little witch. You must be mistaken. I'm a mathematics teacher. What's going on, Mrs. Bloxburg? Hmm. She doesn't know that she's our Bibi anymore. Who is this person you're talking about named Bibi? It's exactly the same case with Mrs. Miller Minimac and the mayor and Carla Caramba. What? Are they all under a spell? Uh-huh. Yeah. Seems like it was well worth it, though. It's clear that Bibi can't get out of this without some help. Town Hall no! New school yes! Town Hall no! Look, there they are, Mrs. Bloxburg. You're kidding. You're telling me that chubby little boy is actually our town's mayor? Jail the civic government! As young Bruno, he's really excited about having a new school. He has to turn into the mayor again right now! Yes, before he forgets. Please, Mrs. Bloxburg. All right. New school! No town hall! New school! Meeny, meeny, secret door. Each is what he was before. Whiz, whiz! New school! To town hall, yes to new school. Oh, eh. New school, yeah. no town hall. Oh, yes. to oh, it really worked. Oh. Baby, my darling, is it really you this time? Mm-hmm. Well, something sensational has just occurred, ladies and gentlemen. Our mayorkins, in his infinite wisdom, has just commissioned a brand new school. When will it be ready, sir? Uh, what are you asking me? I haven't commissioned a school. Oh, but you did, Mr. Mayor. In public, no less. And you did it on a live television broadcast. The parents of Newtown are grateful to you for your commitment to education, Mr. Mayor. You're probably going to have to make a speech, Mr. Mayor, sir. But, but, I've gone and accidentally promised them a new school, and this is a foundation stone for my precious town hall. What'll I do? Well, why don't you just build the school right here? Yes, good idea, my idea, ladies and gentlemen of Newtown. Huh? Huh? This is not the site of a Newtown Hall, as you may have all mistakenly thought. Instead, this spot will be the site for an ultra-modern, spacious facility especially designed for the young people of our town. A new school! Yeah! Oh, <laughs> All right.
right, just a second. Eeny, meeny, cold and cough. Here comes a double broom. Take off. Whiz, whiz. Yippee! 